Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and we can always trim like the front and the back. So okay. you can always just like take a deep breath and it's on right now. It's on. Beautiful. Yeah. And then when I'm done, just go hit the off button. Yeah, just kinda once you've kind of finish, um smile obnoxiously at the camera for like longer than it feels possible. Yes. So that we have time to cut it. Uh-huh. And then you can hit stop or call me in or whatever. Okay. So yeah, you if got you need to reset, just do like a big Oh, you'll know. You'll know. <laughs> There'll be something for you. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. We have come up with a list of some exercises for your hands. If you're someone who has Parkinson's, that can be something that can kind of drive you crazy. Maybe your grip isn't as strong as it once was. You're having trouble making a fist. Um, handwriting is a big issue. So we wanted to come up with a few exercises for you guys to work on at home um, that you can kind of tailor to your lifestyle and just really help out with those things. So the first thing that we're going to do, um, we're going to bring our hands in, make a really tight fist and you're gonna extend those hands out. So you're really reaching those wrists back, reaching those fingers nice and wide, really big. We're gonna do 20 of all of these. So I'm gonna count this as one. So that's one and two, really reaching back. Three, make a fist here. Four, good guys. Five and six, reaching back. Seven and eight. Nine, reach, reach, reach. 10, make a fist. 11, 12, 13, reach everything out. Good, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bring those shoulders back. 19, 20. Whew. Very good. Shake it out. I'll warn you, these tend to get a little harder than you might think. So if you need to shake it out, take breaks. That is fine. Um, just do it as it feels good to you. So our next one we're going to do is going to be really working on that finger dexterity. So what you're going to do is you're going to take each finger, you're going to tap, tap it to the pad of your thumb here. So you're going to alternate fingers in between each one. So this would be one, tapping your index finger, and then two, middle finger, three, ring fingers, four pinkies. Now we reverse. Five, tap, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and really try and extend your fingers in between each one. So make those fingers really wide, get them away from each, each other. We're gonna go fourteen, extend, fifteen, extend, sixteen, extend, 17, really reach. 18, extend. 19, reach up. 20, whoo, shake them out, very good. All right, let's work on those wrists a little bit more. So you're gonna bring your hands out nice and straight away from you. Get to really reach those wrists up, hands, fingers extended, everything up, 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 up. And then you're gonna pull them all the way down so my elbows stay straight during this whole thing. Nice and straight out, and you're gonna bring them back up. So that's one two, really pull, good, all the way up, three, four, five, six, good, seven, and eight, nine, feel the burn, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, my hands are tired, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, 19, 20, whoo, very good, my 20 was kind of lame, I'll do another one there, Ooh, 20, very good, nice job you guys, all right, moving on to our next one, we're feeling powerful, feeling good, so let's go ahead and bring those arms out, palms are going to be facing up, what I want you to do is really reach them up as high, as just try and get them away from each other, and then you're going to flip your hands so that they face away from each other, so you're really working on that twisting motion of your arms. So we're going to call this two and three. Very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep those fingers extended. Nine, 
10, keep an eye on those hands, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost there, 19, 20, very good. Now get a little shoulder work in there as well, which is great. All right, next one. You're going to take your hands, and what I want you to think about is trying to touch the pad of your finger to this lower portion of your finger. So you're really just going to curl your fingers in, so it kind of looks like this. So here's from the front, if they're facing each other. Notice my thumb is also getting involved, so really trying to bend here. So you're not making a fist, you're really just bending at the fingers themselves. So we're going to extend in between each one, so when you bend, you're going to extend up nice and powerful, really big. We're going to call that two, three, extend, bend, four, five, don't forget about the thumb, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, very good, eleven, keep extending, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Make sure you're really getting that big, good extension in between all of these exercises. Really good to try and help get those fingers nice and warm. All right, next one. This one's a little bit easier, so you can, you can take a sigh, of, a sigh of relief just a little bit. So what are you going to do? I call this one tabletop. Your thumb gets to take a little break on this one, so it's just kind of hanging out to the side. And you're just going to take your fingers, keep them nice and straight, and try and make it a nice tabletop right through here. Good. Nice and straight. Mine, mine struggle with this a little bit. All you're going to do, you're going to bend and extend. So again, big, wide fingers. You're going to bend. This is number two. Extend. Bend, get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, almost there, seventeen. Extend, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Very good, you guys. We're almost there. We're making good progress. All right, last one of these exercises, I promise. So 20 more. What we're going to do with this one, so think about the very tip of your finger here, trying to reach down as low on your palm as you can. So again, we're not making a fist here. What we're going to do is you're going to bend your fingers down. You're really trying to reach these guys so they can reach as low down on your palm as you can. So again, your thumb kind of gets to take a break during this one, which is kind of great. So you're going to bend those fingers down, touch the bottom of your palm, and then extend up nice and powerful. So we'll call that one, reaching down, two, three, four, keep it up, five, six, seven, feel the burn, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, 11, extend, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, we made it. Very good, you guys, it looks great. I encourage you guys to try this for two weeks, just one time a day for the next two weeks. Um, you could even try things like writing your, your signature right now, right this second before you start the exercise, um, and then testing it out again two weeks from now after doing this consistently. A good time is kind of right before breakfast, um, so you can kind of get your hands warmed up for the day. Um, as you notice, your hands might be a little tired. Mine are definitely feeling burn, and that is totally normal. If you would like some more resources, you can head on over to invigoratept.com for more handy res resources, um, hands included, um, to help you guys out with some more exercises for Parkinson's specifically. I hope you guys have a great day. Okay.